Hello everyone and welcome to Retail Archaeology. Today we'll be taking a look at Heritage Court in downtown Gilbert, Arizona. Now this is a place that I have driven past hundreds of times and I thought it was just kind of a standard office building. I never really noticed that you could actually walk inside and it's more of a little shops and dining court area. As you can see there it says shops and dining on the neon sign. And uh, once I finally took the time to go into this place and poke around, I, I really kind of fell in love with it. It's, it's just one of the most aesthetically pleasing places I've been in. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Now it's three floors. There's a street level, which we were just on, and then there's like a basement level, and then there's a second floor up on the top. So we'll take a look at the basement first. And you can see there's just a really cool brick pattern flooring down here and there's green trim and brass fixtures everywhere. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a ton of information on this place. I, I really couldn't find any through online searches and all that. I was able to find that it was built and opened in the year 2000, and that's about it. I, I do know that it was originally planned to house, like the sign suggested, a lot of shops and dining areas, but it seems like there's more offices than anything else here, especially on this bottom floor. But as we pan all the way up, we can see the really big and awesome skylight at the top. I really do like the way they styled this place. Just, you know, like I mentioned, the red brick, the green trim. There's awesome planters with cool plants in them. It's just all very aesthetically pleasing to look at. Let's go ahead and hop on the elevator, though, and ride it up to the top floor. That, that's kind of a cool shot there. You can see the cars passing by on the street level. And then here we are at the top, and there's a neat little balcony viewing area there. Now there aren't any national store chains or anything like that in here. It's all mostly restaurants, mom and pop businesses and salons, and then some offices down on the bottom. I, I love that elevator with the brass door and the, and the red brick. This place is just beautiful. I'm, I'm really glad that I finally decided to kind of pop in and see what was going on in here. I'm not even really sure what you would call this place. I guess it's a, it's a court, like the name suggests, but I can't think of a lot of other shopping courts that are laid out like this anywhere in the Phoenix area or near me. So it's just really interesting to look at because it's it's new and different to me. But that that's a really cool shot all the way down to the basement floor. I love that. And I, I love that, that red brick pattern that they did down there. I'm sure you've noticed that lately the videos on the channel have kind of taken a more laid back and, and positive tone and... That's just because I, I don't have it in me right now with everything that's going on to make a lot of negative videos, but I did want to let everyone know that once this is all over and everybody kind of goes back out into the world again into shopping, I do plan on doing a lot of videos covering a lot of these retailers that acted like shitheads during this whole thing, and, and also some videos kind of highlighting the companies that did good as well, but I, I don't want people to forget the companies that were just really awful to their employees during all this, especially when people are ready to go back out again and, and open their wallets and support these businesses again. It was kind of interesting while I was here filming, there were some other groups doing photography. It looks like people were in dresses and suits and everything. I don't know if it was wedding photography or what, but I just thought this was kind of an interesting backdrop to do that kind of thing. Let's take a closer look out this little balcony viewing area up on the top floor because Looking out of this, you get a really great view of downtown Gilbert. This is going to be Gilbert Road right in front of us. And uh, this is actually not too far from where I live, and I, I just love this area. i just never been in this building before. But I love how everything looks very old school down there. You can see the Gilbert Water Tower. I love that. They light that up real nice for Christmas, which we'll actually see a little bit in the video, because this, this footage is pretty old. It's from December. And here's a picture I took from the same balcony at night. You can see the Gilbert Water Tower lit up red and green there. That's for, for Christmas. But you also just get a great shot down Gilbert Road, and you can see all the neon lights and businesses and stuff. I also noticed here's some Gilbert graffiti. Looks like it's it's just about a year old at this point. If I'm reading that right, I think this is April 27th, 2019. I, I have no idea what the hell that is, but that's Gilbert for you. Now something else I, I saw while I was down here was these really cool fountains. These are actually across the street, but I just kind of wanted to real quick show some of the awesome other stuff that's in downtown Gilbert. Seems like the birds really like to use this as a bird bath, but I, I just love fountains, and there's some great fountains and water features all around the Heritage Court building to look at as well. Here's a closer shot of that neon sign. 
And you see there, it says it says shops and dining. Um, th there is dining in here. There's a couple of restaurants, but then there's like nail salons, um, a lot of empty spots, unfortunately, and then um, some legal and real estate offices down on the bottom. This is one of the restaurants here. This is Romeo's Euro Cafe, and they also have like a little bakery and shop attached to it as well. Right here, we can we can take a look at some of the businesses that are located in here. Although this this sign isn't accurate, some of these spots that are listed are now empty, unfortunately. I love the uh, Romeo's Euro Cafe neon sign, though. That's pretty great. You can see it from the sidewalk right when you look in here. And you can see we've got a salon there as well. And I'm not sure if that's just closed because it's past hours or if they're actually out of business because it was kind of a weird time to, to not be open. It was middle of the afternoon on the weekend when I was here. I, I even love the lights that they have there around around the edge between the floors. Those brass brass light fixtures there. N now that I'm looking at this footage again, it this all kind of reminds me of what a mall would look like in the new Animal Crossing game. I've been playing that quite a bit on the Switch, and just the design and the styling and the colors and stuff, this, this is what I feel like a shopping mall would look like on one of the islands in Animal Crossing. Something else that I really like about this place is when I was here, it was pretty sleepy and quiet, even though it was a weekend afternoon. So it definitely gives off a very strong dead mall vibe. Just just a mini dead mall, because it's, it's pretty small. Now right here is a custom tattoos, or was a custom tattoo shop, but it's closed. It looks like it's been closed for a while, too, because it's mostly empty. I even like the elevator shaft, how you can see the, the back of the elevator and see out the window as it goes up. I, I wish I could have got some footage of it moving, but the only time it ever really moved is when I went up it. <laughs> see, look at that shot. If I told you that was in a dead mall somewhere, you wouldn't know the difference. Here's a look inside the tattoo shop, and you can see what I mean. There's some weird gas, like oxygen bottles or something right there, and then not much else in here. Even the, the bathroom doors are cool back there and the mailboxes that are, you know, with the brass and the, the green and everything. I hope this place is, is doing okay in the, the current retail climate. I have no idea what's going on here now with, with how everything is. It's funny because I had kind of forgotten that I filmed this place. I just stumbled across the footage recently. So it's definitely a good reminder to me to go check this place out again once everything kind of calms down and goes back to normal. Here's another great shot going down the elevator. I just love that seeing the street go by. I'm also glad I found this footage because I remember that I wanted to show this place to all of you and to see if you guys thought it was as neat as I thought it was. Like I would love to open like a used video game shop or something in this place. It's just gorgeous. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap up this look at Heritage Court with some footage of a really neat street musician that was performing right next to this place. As always, everyone, thanks for watching. I got a key to the highway. I'm booked and bound to go. Or in this place, I'm running a walk in the post to the slow. Don't back down by the border.